Hi, my name is Cold Bear and let's start with Dune Spice Wars. At the beginning I was really surprised how light this game is. It only requires 4 gigabytes of free space. W w what is this witchery? And because of that Dune Spice Wars works incredibly smoothly. Loading times are almost non-existent. And the game itself launches very fast as well, a few seconds and you are in the main menu. I honestly can say that I am not used to this. The game itself looks like a casual 4x title, like Civilization, but it's not. It's a mix of 4x and real-time strategy. You start with your main base and then you have to expand. To do that, you need to explore surrounding areas with your ornithopter and find some resources. I mean areas rich in spice, having which is really nice. It rhymes because spice here is money, and money is nice, that always rhymes. Roses are red, violets are blue, money is nice. See? Anyway, I can recommend the game, I really liked it. And Humble Bundle just dropped another amazing bundle. Hellblade, Dreamscape, a Control, Siberia and 4 more games for only 14 euros or about 15 dollars. That's less than 2 euros for one game. That is undoubtedly one of the best bundles lately. Although be warned, it will expire tomorrow on Sunday. So be quick, you will find my affiliate link to the collection in the description below and also in the first pinned comment. Gloomhaven. At first this was made as a tabletop game and as it reached incredible popularity it was remade into a video game as well. It has all the features of dungeon crawlers like Darkest Dungeon but stands out of the rest with a cool twist of 3D setting. So here you will lead your band of mercenaries through this unforgiving place where every move is crucial. Yeah, you sneeze, you die. No, probably not, but you get the point. You will have to carve your way through dungeons, forests and dark caves filled with horrific monsters to reap your rewards or die trying, possibly the latter, over and over again. People are talking that this game will surprise you with the amount of unique monsters, high replay value and 100 hours of content, but it can scare you away with its very steep learning curve, so don't expect anything easy, it's not your sister. Dead Island Definitive Edition the same developers who made Dying Light created this zombie-infested game as well. And this zombie apocalypse is more beautiful than ever. You will be running from and killing undead in the beautiful tropical island, a wonderful paradise on Earth and this contrast is really great. Exploring this island is really fun, from the zombie-infested deserted city to secluded beaches and vast highlands. Roam around in order to discover the story behind the zombie outbreak. You can also play in a story-based 4-player co-op mode. Anyway, in Dead Island and Definitive Edition you will get the main game and all the DLCs as well. Also graphics are in HD and so on and the price is more than great. The Surge 2 on the way to Jericho City, your plane is shut down by a mysterious storm and crash lands in the outskirts. You wake up weeks later in a derelict detention facility inside the city. Armor-clad soldiers enforce martial law. Robots are on a rampage and a dark expanding nanostorm looms over the cityscape. So long story short, everything here wants you dead. But you are not some lame puny peasant, you have your mechanical sword and can beat enemies with it and take their parts and make yourself better in the process. Imagine if you hand wrestle with a co-worker you hate, then you win and take his eyes as a prize. Well that took a dark turn rather quickly, right? War Tales it has been a hundred years since the world saw the fall of the once great Edoran Empire at the hands of an unprecedented plague that swept the nation. So prepare to lead a group of characters in a huge open world where combat, death and thirst for riches will shape and define your day-to-day -day life. You are not a special chosen one ushering in a new era of peace, nah, your goal is solely to survive, well, and thrive in this harsh and hostile land. From the most insignificant petty thieves to the land's most notorious figures, there is no such thing as a profit too small to take. You can recruit from the vast array of new companions with numerous unique skill sets and weapon preferences, resulting in a plethora of possible builds. You will accept contracts that will take you on a task to defend, liberate and save the many inhabitants of the land for money. You are not a hero, remember? Also here you will be able to collect bounties, from the most insignificant pathetic thieves to the land's most notorious figures. There is no such thing as a profit too small to take. Very wise Words, probably many times spoken by Quark from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Escape Simulator 
This is a first-person puzzler you can play solo or in an online co-op. Here you'll explore a growing set of highly interactive escape rooms, move furniture, pick up and examine everything, smash pots and break locks. The game also supports community-made rooms using the level editor. As I mentioned before, you can play it alone without any problems, but all the rooms are playable in an online co-op as well. Community rooms have been tested with up to 10 people, but I can realize the chaos it can bring. So one or two friends is actually more than enough, and probably more than you actually have. I'm kidding, of course. Or am I? The game, as people on Steam are saying, is not just an escape room simulator. It's a great escape from reality as well, especially after a long, hard day at work. Hot Space Shipbreaker there are so many games where you just fly the spaceships, but have you ever thought about where these ships go when you don't need them anymore? Well, me neither. That would be dumb. But someone couldn't shake the idea and made this game. So here, equipped with cutting-edge salvaging technology, you will carve and slice spaceships to recover valuable materials, upgrade your gear and take on more lucrative contracts, and pay your billion credits debt to a shady corporation. Human life means nothing to them, so you are just a tool with the capability of holding other tools. You know, if your hammer could hold another hammer, nobody would need you at all. Just think about that, how fragile everything is. Anyway, the game is a proud owner of very positive reviews, and if you feel adventurous, this may be your spoon of potato salad. Although be careful, too much of zero gravity can convert you into another space object. A comet. A vomit comet. Astroneer Game is set during the 25th century intergalactic age of discovery. Here, astroneers explore the frontiers of outer space, risking their lives in harsh environments to unearth rare discoveries and unlock the mysteries of the universe itself. In this space sandbox adventure, you can work together with other players to build custom bases above or below the ground, create vehicles to explore a vast solar system, and use terrain to create anything you can imagine. So basically, you are invading beautiful planets with beautiful nature and making an industrial hell out of them. Yeah, screw nature, the galaxy is full of it. People on Steam are saying that here you are your own worst enemy. You will fall off the cliffs, touch deadly plants and forget something at your base that is half a galaxy away. Yeah, anyway, very positive reviews are here for a reason. Almost everyone loves the game and there is a huge chance that you will love it as well. Other side. Here you will lead your army of female warriors to battle. Your skill in combat will decide their fate, shape their abilities and personality. So under your command, they probably just die angrily in pain and agony. Anyway, jokes aside, like in all turn-based games, here you will have to plan your moves carefully, because one wrong action can lead your party to failure. Although the game offers cool mechanics where you can sacrifice one to heal another, survivors will get stronger, ready to fight the next battle. The bad news is that the game practices perma death. So by sacrificing warriors, you are like sacrificing them for real. And the elephant in the room is, of course, the visuals of the game. Only black, white and red color palette exists here and makes this game stand out from other similar projects. Abzu from the art director of Journey, Abzu is a beautiful underwater adventure that evokes the dream of diving. You'll immerse yourself in a vibrant hidden world, bursting with color and life as you descend into the heart of the ocean. But beware, as you swim deeper you will confront the dangers lurking in the depths. Nah, I'm kidding, you can't actually die here and you have no fighting skills as well. This game is pure adventure, a real member of the walking simulator family. Well, swimming simulator, I guess. So if you play Journey, you probably will like Abzu as well. This is a great game, you have my sincere recommendations. Although, keep in mind that this game is just like your Ding Dong. Very short. That's it. And don't forget to check that new Humble Bundle with 8 games for 14 euros. Amazing deal, which you will find through my affiliate link in the description below. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.